Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling one of the most common pain points for network engineers and enthusiasts alike, managing firewall rules. Let's face it, traditional firewall rules can get messy fast between juggling VLANs, WANs, VPNs. It's easy to feel overwhelmed trying to keep everything running secure and smoothly. But Unify just changed the game with their latest 9.0 update. They've introduced zone-based firewalls, a feature that promises to simplify firewall management like never before. And in this video, I'll show you guys how Unify's new zone-based firewall works, why it's such a big deal, how it can save you time and headaches when managing your network. So whether you're a Unify pro or just curious about what makes this update special, stick around because this is one you're not gonna wanna miss. So what exactly are firewall zones? Well, think of them as logical buckets where you place your network interfaces. For example, you might have a zone for protected traffic, external traffic, internet traffic, even guests and VPN users, but Ubiquity includes several built-in zones. For example, there's an external zone for untrusted internet traffic, an internal zone for trusted local devices, and VPN zones for remote connections and more. The best part about all this is these zones simplify firewall management by grouping interfaces like VLANs and WANs all together. Instead of setting up rules for each interface like LAN in, LAN out, WAN in, WAN out, you just simply define rules between these zones and it's really intuitive and efficient. Now let's talk about why this update is a big deal. First of all, it simplifies policy management. With traditional firewalls, you'd have to configure rules for individual interfaces like VLANs, WANs, VPNs. This can quickly become a tangled mess of overlapping rules with a bunch of exceptions. But with zones, you group all these interfaces together and define policies between the zones and this not only reduces complexity, but it makes troubleshooting so much easier. Secondly, zones significantly improve network segmentation. Let's say you're running a guest Wi-Fi network. You can completely isolate the traffic from all the guest zones so it can't access any of your internal resources like file servers, printers, or even the IoT devices. But you can still allow guests to access the internet seamlessly. So with zones, these boundaries are easy to visualize and enforce. No more worrying about unintentional overlaps or gaps in your firewall rules. Third, zones give you granular control over your traffic. Whether you want to block specific IP addresses, limit access by specific applications, or even tailor rules to specific roles on the network, the zone matrix makes it straightforward. For example, you could allow a particular VLAN to only access a certain server while blocking the rest of the traffic. This level of control is especially useful in environments like offices, schools, enterprises, large networks, or even small home networks with lots of IoT devices. It allows you to optimize both your network security and the performance by tailoring rules to exactly what your network needs. And finally, all this is presented visually in the zone matrix. This grid gives you a clear, concise overview of how your traffic flows between different zones. Uh, you can spot inconsistencies or gaps and instantly make adjustments on the fly. It's a huge step forward in making the firewall management way more intuitive. So let's go ahead and set up a zone and a firewall rule with that zone. Setting up the zone is pretty straightforward. When you create a new network, you can assign it a built-in zone or create a custom zone for more precise control. Next, we're gonna head over to the security tab and hit the firewall tab. Once here, we're gonna see our zone matrix and all of our rules just below that. And in order to create our new rule, we're just simply going to hit create policy. Next, we'll go ahead and create a rule that blocks traffic from our guest network we just created to the internal traffic zones. We're gonna go ahead and select our source zone and leave our source selection to any. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to the action that we want to happen and select block. 
Then we'll simply select our destination zone with any destination in that zone selected. And we'll go ahead and hit save. And we did it. We made a firewall rule that looks at the source zone and blocks the destination. And it happens to all the networks that's applied in both the source and the destination zone. So we can now dynamically either add more zones or networks or interfaces to those zones or modify those rules or create more rules. It's extremely modular and allows you to create the kind of rules that you need for your specific setup. In conclusion, Unify's new zone-based firewalls bring much needed simplicity and power to network management. Whether you're managing a home setup or a complex enterprise network, this feature makes life so much easier and is really becoming an industry standard. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments how you guys plan on using zones in your network. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.